What is going on guys? I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Today we're back with episode number 16 of our Pay or Stay series. Guys, today we have a good one for you. We have the Abyssal Whip versus the Dragon Scimitar. And this is quite unusual for those who follow the series. You know that the Abyssal Whip probably does not train strength and when I make my videos I train strength but in this case we're going to be training attack I did want to get the whip in one of my videos so I did compare with the dragon scimitar since both are commonly used for training so yeah guys let's get into it if you guys do enjoy this type of content please leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a comment let me know what you guys think and let me know what you guys want to see in the future let's get into it when it comes to the dragon scimitar it is popular for training due to its low cost as a slash bonus of 67 and a strength bonus of 66. It does have a special attack called Sever, but it takes 55% of your special attack energy. It comes at a cost of 60k and it is non-degradable. Moving on to the Abyssal Whip, it is also popular for training due to its strong bonuses. It has a slash bonus of 82 and a strength bonus of 82. One thing that it does not have is the ability to train strength. It has an attack, defense, and shared option. It has a special attack called Energy Drain, which takes a 50% of your energy bar, and it comes at a cost of 2.9 mil. It is also non-degradable, but that makes the price difference 4,833%. So guys, this is an awesome comparison we got going on here. Let's get into the Nightmare Zone. Alrighty guys, I have started the timer for 30 minutes, and I'll see you guys later. One eternity later. Alrighty guys, there goes a timer for the Dragon Scimitar. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Abyssal Whip, and I'll see you guys in another 30. 75 years later. Alrighty guys. There goes the timer for the Abyssal Whip. I'm going to write down the information and I'll see you guys for the final recap. Alrighty guys, we are back with the final recap. Let's get into it. So starting with the Dragon Scimitar, I did put up the starting and ending XP for both weapons. We did get around 71k an hour from the Dragon Scimitar and from 85 to 99 attack, I would take me 138 hours. Moving on to the Abyssal Whip, we had a massive increase. We have an XP rate of around 84k an hour. And that is an 18.3% increase and 116 hours from 85 to 99 attack. That brings our upgrade cost to 219 GP per XP. Now guys, 13k is a big difference between the two weapons, but you have to also consider the equipment I'm wearing. I did decide to wear bandos because someone called me a noob, so I decided to wear bandos for this episode. But anyways, the percent increase is the most important statistic to look at as it's going to be similar for anyone wearing any type of gear when comparing these two weapons. So 18% is probably the largest difference we've had in this series. And honestly, because of that, the verdict for this episode is going to be pay. Pay for the Abyssal Whip. It is not that expensive. Plus, you get a massive increase in XP. 18% is a large number. And according to my information, it would save me 22 hours. And that is something I'd gladly invest in. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next one. That's all for this episode. Until next time, guys. Peace.